Hey, let's make it pop. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt, and today we are going to do a cool DIY craft for Halloween. Spooky. I already got my Halloween costume set. Uh, but if you want to make a card that's fun and easy to do and, and give to your friends for Halloween, um, today we are going to make it. Let's do it. So here are the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need a ruler. Look, it's camouflaged ruler. You'll need a paper clip. You'll need um, double-sided tape. Double-sided tape. Of course, you'll need scissors. Maybe some markers or crayons or something or colored pencils to color with. And of course, you'll need cardstock. Now, you can use any color cardstock that you'd like. You can use white cardstock. This is a 110 pound cardstock that you can get in any office or art supply store. Um, or you can use colored cardstock, which I think, hmm, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna use these colored uh, pieces of cardstock and I'm gonna print the templates that are linked to the video below. Um, we're going to print out the two pages of uh, die lines for our craft and let's do that right now. Look it, they're printed out. Look at all those templates, aren't they beautiful? So we printed these out. These are the two pages. Let's start out by scoring all of the fold lines. Now, you can tell which ones are the fold lines because they are dotted lines. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna take my paper clip. There's my little paper clip. And I'm going to line up my ruler to along every dotted line that I see for all my die line pieces. And I'm just going to... Okay, so every dotted line that we see, oh, there's a dotted line. See, there's a dotted line. Let's use our ruler. Line it up against it. any dotted line. There's two different kinds of dotted lines you can see. But it doesn't matter. You're just going to score along. You're going to rub the rounded edge along all those dotted lines. And then once you've done all, once you've scored everything, the next step is cutting out all the pieces. So just take your time cutting the pieces along the dark, the, the solid black line. All right, now let's get to assembling these pieces. I've just finished cutting everything out with the magic of video. And now, Let's start by adding double stick tape to areas A and B on our base page. Make sure that when you're adding this double stick tape, it only goes within the gray space. Don't let it get beyond the gray space. See, I just kind of make a triangle of uh, double stick within there. De -de -de. De -de -de. Now you could use glue if you want to. I'm going to show you what it looks like. See there? You could use glue, I suppose, but um, we're going to use double stick. Okay, now we're going to take this piece right here. And see it says A, so A is going to go there, and B, B is going to go there. And you're just going to line up those shapes just like this. Just like that. See how that this shape here matches that shape? So line it up. Make sure the center of the pumpkin, the center line of the pumpkin, aligns with the center line of our base page. See how that line lines up there and there? Let's see the top. Make sure that that lines up. And then tape it down. Make sure that it goes flat. See how I have that completely flat. All right, so it's stuck on both sides. And now when it opens and closes, it should, you should want it to move like this. See how it goes in? So if yours only does this, if it only does this, excuse me. So let's say, let's say yours only does this and it does, it just goes in, but we don't want that. We want it, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to push it. First, you want to do it like this and you want to do it like this. So first, make sure the folds go this way. Okay? Then push top in like that and the other top in like that. So this is how it should open. 
See how that works? All right, so that's the basis of everything we're going to make right there. This is called, these are both what are called B-fold risers. We're going to take this piece that says C and E, okay? We're going to put some double stick on the area for C. Remember, what did I say before? Do not get your double stick beyond the gray areas. Got that? Even if you have to just do teensy, teensy pieces of double stick in there. So we're going to do C and E. We're going to do these two areas first, this one and this one. See, there's double stick there. And then we're going to line it up. See, we're going to, we're going to line up this new piece. Let's, let's get in a little there. We're going to line it up, but we're actually going to flip it over just like that, fit it into place, make sure the edge, make sure it goes flat, make sure that this edge of this, this top piece does not go over, doesn't go over this center fold line, okay? So make sure it's just over a bit, just like that, okay? And now it's going to open and close, and you're going to make sure that the top of the mouth, these, this part, goes up over the bottom. So look how that mine does. Arr. Arr. So we got half of our pumpkin. Let's do the other side. What do we do? Double stick. I love double sticking it. Uh-oh. Look at that. See, look at that edge. Do you see that? I got a little double stick over the edge there. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Well, you could cut it with your scissors or you could just fold it up on itself. Look at that. Super easy to do. But just make sure that the double stick only goes or the glue. If you use glue, I know there are some glue users out there. If you're going to use glue, make sure it doesn't go beyond the gray areas. We got some glue freaks out there. Look, I love, I love glue too, but we don't want to over glue. So see, it's just there. There's where our sticky parts is. R is R. Boy, I'm bad at English early in the morning, right? All right. So now we go D there. That goes there and F and F. So what we do is, what do we do? We flip it over and we line it up on the top and the bottom. And we make sure when it's you can press down on there to make sure everything is glued down or taped down. Nice. Now, we're going to make sure that when it closes, that the upper part of the mouth goes over the bottom. And see how it bends like that? So now, we're going to mash it shut. Mash it nice and shut. And now, look at that. We got a really cool jack-o'-lantern. Oh, I love it. How are you doing? Happy Halloween. <laughs> so now it's time to decorate Ooh, and that's where our markers come in so let's get decorating now you can decorate your pop-up jack-o'-lantern any way you want to There it is, we're all finished. Super fun and simple for young people, for old people, for all, everyone. You wanna make your own pop-up talking jack-o'-lantern card. Here it is, just download the template, watch the video, and you can make your own. Thanks so much for joining me today to making this really cool DIY pop-up jack-o'-lantern. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you wanna see more? Be sure to hit like and subscribe and we'll have all kinds of other things. If you have any requests, make sure to make them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Happy Halloween, everyone, and get poppin'. Boom.